Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is going on, Capricorn? Wow, okay. So, this is very rare. I actually got one, two, three, four, five different signs, Capricorn. You guys are really shining, you guys. Um, I do want to note what they're telling me is that your energy is so amplified right now, Capricorn, and you guys may already be experiencing this in business, in family, um, in health. There is much improvement. There's like this restoration of balance or karma that is good karma coming your way, Capricorn. Um, and they are definitely highlighting me. Um, I don't see the sun card here, but I am seeing almost like being almost blinded by the sun. So it's like all eyes are on you, Capricorn. Now you have Neptune here right at the center of all these signs. So Neptune has to do with our dreams. It has to do with our subconscious mind, what we're bringing or what we're attracting to us. And the more you are given something, the more your energy and focus goes to that. And that's exactly what you're getting in return, Capricorn. So if business is going good, then you're more focused in business. You see money coming in. Your focus is in money, so more money starts to come in. What they're telling you is it has all to do with energies, and you may actually be living, um, uh, you may actually be li living at this present time um, almost like a validation of all the struggle and the difficulties you've been going through. Uh, I see for a lot of you guys achieving goals, for a lot of you guys achieving um, even bringing love to you for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. Now, I do want to mention, like I said, you have dreams, which is with Neptune right at the center of your reading and everything else around you is fanning out with signs. So what this is representing is that you are definitely pulling towards you people that are helping you grow in business, people that are helping you grow uh, spiritually, people that are helping you grow uh, or coming to you in a very loving and nurturing way. So that's definitely beautiful, Capricorn. Now, I do have Libra and Gemini. These are air signs. Actually, we have three air signs. We have Aquarius here as well. So what they're telling me here is for some of you guys, you may be dealing, actually dealing with a Libra, an Aries, a Leo, a Gemini, an Aquarius, for some of you guys, um, maybe even a, a Scorpio energy. And what they're saying here is that you have options, Capricorn, when it comes to love and romance. Now, if you're currently in a, a serious or committed relationship with a Leo or an Aries, what they're saying here is that you need to keep the relationship flowing. And the way to do that is to keep it um keep it very refreshed. So what I mean by that is don't like, don't just work and go home and then go to work and then go home. You have to change up the routine. You got to put effort in relationships just like you put effort at work. So what they're saying is you got to renew or you got to refresh the relationship. You have to understand that it is very important and it's very essential for you guys to nurture the relationship as well. And Capricorns do have a tendency of overworking themselves. So what they're saying here with the Libra and Gemini, you got to keep it fresh. You got to keep it uh, going. You got to keep it exciting. You got to you have to be a little bit more open minded for this remaining of the month going into October when it comes to relationships. And this could be, uh, you know, randomly picking up some roses for your wife or for your girlfriend. Uh, this can be uh, for you uh, women out there. This could be, you know, getting a bottle of wine, a bottle of champagne, 
getting some strawberries, maintaining that lust and that desire for one another is very essential and very important. Now, you also do have Aquarius here, and Aquarius is all to do uh, with the analytical mind. So again, it is important to pull away from all that you're trying to achieve when it comes to business, when it comes to finances, and put the same energy uh, in your home, okay, for those of you guys that are committed. So what they're telling me here is that you need to learn to have balance. If you're busting your ass at work and you are working really hard, then bust your ass at home and put effort and energy in seducing the partner, in maintaining the passion. And this is something that is going to be very important for you guys, okay? If you don't, put effort and energy on that and instead you start wandering your eyes, you're going to be tempted. And in reality, keep in mind that right now, uh, you still have your father planet. So if anything was to go sour, it's going to go sour really quick. So keep that in mind. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, I do see a lot of air energy being around you. It's like you, they're definitely gravitating to you. They're definitely looking at you. Uh, you may also be pulling a lot of fire energy. Now, what does stand out to me very greatly is a Libra and an Aries type of energy or an Aquarius type of energy that is coming through. Uh, I feel them almost like, uh, as you can see, we have the top, uh, the top left, the top uh, right, and the bottom air sign. So what they're telling me here is that there's a lot of communication happening around you, Capricorn. This could be people talking about you. This could be people asking about you to people that know you. I feel like they're very intrigued on what you're doing or what's going on with you. And there's definitely desire and passion around you. So what they're telling me for you, those of you Capricorns that are single right now, uh, keep an eye open because you're definitely going to be getting options when it comes to partnerships. Now we have return of spirit, we have voice, and we have immunity. So I feel that what spirit is trying to tell you here is a lot of the times, and I feel that this, you guys can, you know, comment below and let me know what you think, but I feel that Capricorn is a sign where most of the, you know, the hard work and determination that you put in regards to work or when it comes to relationships, that's very important to you. And it's not because you do it because you expect other people around to validate what you do. But I feel that those that matter most to you, um, for them to see you as a person that is very reliable is something that is very important. And it's part of your makeup, Capricorn. Um, but I also know that when the light is shined on you, I feel that for some time, for some of you, you may shy away from that. Why? Uh, this could be because either, you know, growing up, you always had the need or the feeling that you had to prove yourself. Um, and when finally you get validation or you get admiration or you get people really, uh, you know, giving you that attention, you kind of, it makes you feel kind of uncomfortable because you don't really know what to do about it. Now, this is for those that are very earthly bound. For those of you guys that are Capricorns and have more fire type of energy, you relish in that type of attention. But what they're telling you here is that it's very important to return to spirit. So what I mean by that is be grounded. Uh, be grateful for the opportunities that are coming your way, but at the same time, don't take advantage of that, okay? So when I say don't take advantage, if you were doing like going through hardships and difficulties and you are in a committed relationship and your partner held you down, now that you're starting to shine, now that you're starting to go back to your normal uh, authoritative self, Capricorn, and your confidence is just oozing out of you, be humble and be thankful that that person held you down. OK, don't don't prize them with surprises or things that are being done in the hidden. Be grace, be graceful more than anything. You also have the word voice here. So for a lot of you guys, being vocal is going to be very important for this month. This could be being vocal in regards to expressing how you feel in regards to a specific person. Or this could be you taking the reins or having the need to take the reins 
in regards to the relationship or in regards to the person of your interest. Speak up. Don't shy away from the situation or don't shy away from suppressing your feelings or what you really want to communicate. And immunity finally is speaking about, uh, we were talking about uh, having the need or having being okay with the light being shine on you. And I feel that you guys are going to be experiencing this heavily, heavily the end of September and the beginning of, Sept uh, sorry, the end of September, beginning of October. Um, so again, just prepare yourselves uh, because attention is definitely coming. For those of you guys that are single, this is great news. For those of you guys that are taken, not so great news. Be graceful about it. Okay, my lovelies. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.